Hello and welcome to the International Youth Foundation Global Youth Summit. My name is Jenny Robertson and I am the Senior Vice President of Integrated Marketing and Communications at FedEx. It is my honor and privilege to be here virtually with you today as we kick off this week of learning and sharing. I'd like to start by thanking the International Youth Foundation for inviting me to speak with you all. FedEx's relationship with IYF began in 2017 when we worked with the organization to develop a logistics curriculum, Talentix, which is now nationally recognized and implemented across technical high schools in Mexico. Just one year after launch, graduates' average monthly salary increased 195% and is equivalent to two times the national minimum wage. We are incredibly proud of this initiative and grateful for the work IYF does to connect young people with opportunities and transform their lives and their communities. So now for the event. 2020 has been a tough year to say the least. We have experienced loss, social unrest, natural disasters, global tensions, all under the cloud of a global pandemic. But as challenging as these 10 months have been, 2020 will forever be the year that opened our eyes and reshaped our society in lasting ways. As we look to the future, reimagining how we live and work together is imperative. And young people, the world's future consumers, employees, and decision makers are key to determining what our new world looks like. During this week's summit, you'll have the opportunity to participate in sessions that convene along three tracks, which align with clusters of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And those are people, planet, and prosperity. Conversations will center around questions like, how can we make access to healthcare more equitable in a post-pandemic world? How can we close the digital divide and more fully leverage technology for learning? And how do we integrate youth-led small businesses into supply chains? Winston Churchill once said, it's not enough to have lived. We should be determined to live for something. He was talking about the importance of finding your purpose, the reason you get up every morning, the why behind every action. At FedEx, our purpose is simple. We connect people and possibilities more than 99% of the world's GDP, to be exact. We believe something special happens when you connect people and possibilities. Trade builds, innovation soars, communities flourish, and lives are improved. And I'd like to take some time to detail a few examples of how we have lived our purpose as a global logistics provider to support people, the planet, and prosperity. Today, my hope is to inspire you to find and live your purpose. First, people. Every so often you meet an individual with the ability to overcome major obstacles to find success. That's what happened to Roderick Burnett. At just 20 years old, Roderick found himself out of school, unemployed and with a newborn. He landed a full ride scholarship at Texas College to play basketball but it wasn't long before he was released from the team after his grades slipped. Roderick's former trainer knew his potential and encouraged him to attend the My Brother's Keeper Alliance Opportunity Summit. That summit, which FedEx was proud to sponsor, offered nearly 1,000 Memphis youth access to on-the-spot job offers, career preparation, and leadership development training. FedEx's relationship with My Brother's Keeper Alliance stemmed from our Employment Pathways Program, which strives to provide a meaningful pathway to employment for underserved populations through job training, education, and opportunities. Thanks to the prodding of his trainer, Roderick attended the summit. And after impressing several potential employers, Roderick was hired as a shipping associate at FedEx Logistics in our hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Here at FedEx, creating opportunity for individuals of all backgrounds is both a business imperative and a community responsibility. We invest in workforce programs that not only train individuals for on-demand jobs, but also take the next step of connecting people with employers that can turn a job into a meaningful long-term career. 
While the individuals who participate in our programs end up in jobs with a wide variety of employers across industries, we are honored that some, like Roderick, come to work at FedEx. So what does Roderick's story have to do with you? Well, as you embark on initiatives to help shape the future you want to see, always remember that people are at the heart of what you are trying to accomplish. Next up, planet. More than half of the world's population lives in cities. That's nearly 4 billion people. And this number will only continue to grow. More people means more traffic congestion, more pollution, and higher demand for transport services. For the past 10 years, FedEx and World Resources Institute have worked together to help cities around the world overcome these challenges. To date, our work with WRI has directly impacted more than 10 million people and helped avoid over 100,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide. In 2018, FedEx and WRI launched the Better Bus Challenge in India. It was a competition for new approaches to clean and sustainable transportation. For a country like India, where buses serve more than 70 million people a day, making transportation more efficient and less polluting is a primary focus of transport planners. Three finalists from the competition were awarded $50,000 each to implement year-long pilot projects in Mumbai, Karnataka, and Bangalore. One project by Small Sparks Concepts in Karnataka outfitted 10 diesel buses with filters made of compressed polyester and cotton. And that innovation has the potential to lower emissions by 30% and increase fuel efficiency by 10%. For Karnataka's 8,600 vehicle fleet, the savings on fuel alone amount to nearly $40,000 a day. The effects of our collaboration with WRI are both global, reducing carbon emissions, and local, helping people access vital jobs and services, spend less time in traffic, and enjoy more time with family. We know that making a difference in some of the world's biggest and most important challenges like protecting the environment, simply cannot be done alone. It's no one person or one company, it's all of us working together. We also know that we may not have all the answers, but someone else might. It's important to always be mindful of that. You don't have to know the answers, you just have to be willing to ask for help. And sometimes the answers come from the most unlikely of places, like filters made of cotton. And the third area is prosperity. We are at our best when we can use our global network and business expertise to create positive change in the world. As I mentioned earlier, we connect more than 99% of the global GDP and billions of people across six continents, enabling economic growth and social progress for individuals, communities, and businesses, large and small. And this year is certainly no different. With almost 700 aircraft, 180,000 motorized vehicles, and most importantly, the experience of our more than 500,000 team members, we are one of the only companies in the world that has the network and capabilities to keep commerce and aid moving throughout this unprecedented pandemic. In January, we at FedEx began to experience the pandemic firsthand in China, where many of our team members live and work. We immediately instituted various measures, including sanitizing our facilities, securing PPE that was hard to come by, and adjusting our operational procedures to continue our essential services while keeping our team member safety front and center. As the virus spread and grew into a global pandemic, we utilized our unmatched global network to transport needed supplies, masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, rep respirators, you name it, quickly and efficiently to those who needed it most. We are keenly aware of the important role we play as a logistics provider around the globe, and we view it as our duty and responsibility to continue delivering for our people, customers, and communities. And while it's difficult to capture the breadth of our efforts, there's one thing that will always stand out to me as a perfect example of how we mobilize the incredible reach and flexibility of our networks to respond to the pandemic. So when testing was just getting started, we stood up a special weekend operation, quickly adding 28 flight legs to help the US government quickly move 
COVID-19 test specimens from more than 50 remote drive-through testing centers across 12 states. This critical mission was led by the White House, the Department of Health and Human Services, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. And it was a collaborative effort among retailers and healthcare companies to enable quick processing of COVID-19 test specimens to help prevent the spread of the virus. We have a great responsibility to use the power of our network and resources to help sustain our communities and facilitate the flow of commerce and the safety of our team members, those who never stop delivering, even when most of the world was sheltering at home. That will always remain our absolute first priority. As a leading global logistics company, we often encounter challenging situations, ranging from natural disasters to social unrest in the course of doing business. And though the global health crisis is a challenge unlike anything we could have predicted, we stood ready to deliver to those who needed us most. And it shows the importance of using what you have already in place, being creative, and then applying your strengths to make a real difference. The common thread across these three stories is the way we seek out to live our purpose at FedEx in all of our actions. Whether it's how we hire from different backgrounds or invest in innovation or use our network and resources to help sustain our communities, everything goes back to connecting people and possibilities. But I wanna make one thing clear. You do not have to be a $70 billion corporation to make an impact. To make an impact, you just need one person with a goal and the drive to make it happen. While attending Yale University in the mid 60s, Fred Smith, our chairman and CEO, wrote an economics term paper on the need for reliable overnight delivery in a computerized information age. Though the paper received only an average grade, that goal and his drive to achieve it resulted in what is now the world's leading logistics company, FedEx. And we are now connecting people and possibilities around the world every single day. It's who we are and it's what we do. And so I challenge you all to find your purpose, your why, and strive to live each day fulfilling that. Thank you and enjoy the summit.